Great, so it's Mr. Amble here. We're going to talk about uh, structural isomers. This won't take too long. Uh, structural isomers, a really interesting topic, and it, there's the learning goals there that uh, refer back to the learning goals and success criteria. So first things first, what is a structural isomer? Well, as you've been dealing with with organic chemistry, um, what a structural isomer is, is a compound that has the same molecular formula, but a different structural formula. So it's put together differently, but it has the same formula, so the same number of atoms as other compounds. Um, all alkanes, for example, that have four or more, so butane and higher, are capable of showing some sort of structural isomerism. So there's many ways of joining carbon atoms together to satisfy the same molecular formula. Oh, nice little spelling error there. Um, so what is the formula for the following? So take a look at these uh, structural formulas. So there is one compound. Again, this is an alkane. It's all got single bonds. And here's another alkane. It also has all single bonds. Now, what are the difference between the two? Well, the difference is the length of the carbon chain. This one over here on the left has four carbons in a row. So the longest carbon chain is four carbons long. This one over here, sure, there's four carbons, but they're not all connected in a row. And in fact, if I numbered this carbon one, carbon two, and carbon three, you can see that the longest chain you can form here, and you can do this multiple ways, the longest carbon chain you can form for this structure on the right is only three carbons. So this is not a, a butane. This is a propane of some sort. So again, what is the name of this one on the left? Well, these are both isomers of each other, obviously. There's the one on the left is normal butane, so it's just butane. Uh, and this one up over here on the right is 2-methylpropane. These are isomers of each other. They both have the same chemical formula, so they're both C4H10, but they've got different structural formulas. They're put together in a different way. This one over here, 2-methyl, uh, on carbon 2, I have a methyl group. And remember, meth means one carbon side chain. So here's my one carbon side chain coming off of carbon two. And, and then this one, actually, it doesn't matter which carbon you number is one or two. You're always going to get two methyl propane as your answer. So these are structural isomers, pretty straightforward. So now's your time to, to put this into task. So consider the molecular formula C5H12. It has three structural isomers. I want you to pause the video and try to see if you can draw the three structural isomers of C5H12. Okay, pause the video now. Alrighty, hopefully you were able to draw the, the isomers. The first one you probably started off with was just, okay, C5. So 5 is pent. And if we put them all together in a straight line, we could have just normal pentane. So here's pentane here, C5H12. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these carbons and I'm going to attach it to a middle carbon. Okay, so I can do that. Uh, so there's normal pentane. And now I've got, I take one of those carbons on the end and I attach it not to the one on the end because then it would still just have normal pentane, but to carbon, in this case here, carbon two. So this now doesn't have a, a long chain of five carbons. It has a long chain of four. So this is a butane of some sort. And if we number this one, two, three, four, off of carbon two, there's a methyl group. So this is two methyl butane, so two methyl butane. Now, you can't just take this carbon and attach it up to this carbon over here and say that's another structural isomer. Because if we did that, again, we always want to number these with the lowest possible combination. So we just number this one, two, three, four, and this would still be 2-methylbutane. Now, the final one is I'm going to take uh, this carbon here and I'm going to attach it onto this second carbon there. So here is my final structural isomer. So notice here, uh, the longest chain is actually three carbons long. So this is a propane. And there is two methyl groups off of carbon two. So this is 2,2-dimethylpropane, right? So two, off of carbon two, carbon two, two methyls, dimethyl, and the longest chain is propes, three, all single bonds A. And remember, everything in organic chemistry has got a meaning to it. Okay, so what do these physical properties have to do with each other for all of these different isomers? So the properties of isomers, they do change, okay? So hydrocarbons with branch chains have lower melting and boiling points than their straight chain isomers because they can't pack as closely together. You can see in the back slide here, uh, we have, you know, there's the one on the bottom and you're not going to be able to pack that in as much as uh, just a normal pentane. So 
they can't pack closely together, meaning the you know the intermolecular forces aren't as strong for those hydrocarbons, so they're able to boil and melt uh, at a lower temperature. If we compare the boiling points, melting points, and, de and density among all of the groups of hydrocarbons, um, you can see that alkenes are lower than alkanes, which are lower than alkynes. Again, all this has to do with how closely packed together these compounds can be.